we're training football players. We're not training strong man, Olympic lifters, or power lifters. We're training football players, and this connects the football there field to the weight room for us. That's it. And it allows us to have football players that are getting stronger and faster, and now we're taking that stronger, that strength and that speed, and we're putting there it into go. a football-specific movement. Drive, 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 drive. There you go. I think one of the biggest things we noticed is how little we use our hands when we strike. Um, so many guys were putting their face into the, into the sled. They were, arms were slipping out. Hands weren't inside. Elbows weren't down. And over a matter of probably a week and a half, they learned real quick that the hands have to be inside. The elbows are down. And, and just the strike with the hands was so much better within a week for just by using the sled as opposed to when we didn't have it at all. great things about having two or more sleds is the different types of uh, work as far as conditions we get uh, with the sleds. Quick, 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 quick. But our ultimate goal is to, to, to put a great athlete, a great football player on the field. And I believe the max football sled can do that. I believe it can take what we do in here, our strength, our speed, our conditioning work, and we can take it and put it on the field now and, and provide our coaches with better football players. Good, good. Last one, last one, last one. Go. Quick, 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 quick. 